Well, hello everyone, and this video is actually specifically for Casper Do It All. I don't know if that's actually your name, Casper, but I'm, I'm gonna call you that anyway. Um, and it's it's for you, but it's also for everyone else who has had similar questions uh, that Casper has had um, in the Wizard X220 setup video because it's it's been a popular video. So thanks for making it popular. I guess um, I I'm glad it was I was able to help you, but a lot of people have had more questions, um, and a lot of them are are similar questions. So what I want to do is answer his questions and uh, and hopefully the questions that you're asking as well. Uh, so let's start with the first one: clean flight or beta flight? Everybody's like. Dude, why are you do, why are you doing clean flight, man? Like I don't get it. And these other people, they're using beta flight. And like, what's the deal? What's better? What's worse? Da, 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 da. All right. Well, um, go check out my eh, go check out my video about uh, the difference between clean flight or beta flight. Or I think it was like, what is beta flight? Or it was something like that. But anyway, in case you don't know, beta flight is a configurator app on your computer that you use to change the internal settings in the brain of your quadcopter. It's that simple. So, but beta flight is uh, kind of a newer version of clean flight, or it's actually, I don't know. It's like, a, it's, 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 it's the, it's the new and improved version, I guess. So basically everybody's using beta flight now. Um, and I, I think clean flight is like all but dead. That doesn't mean it's like obsolete necessarily, but it's not as cutting edge. At the time of the video, which was about a year ago, which is like 50 million years in, uh, in quad technology years, um, it was actually pretty good. Uh, I mean, I mean, clean flight was, people are still using clean flight. Um, so I use clean flight because my understanding was that it would be better for noobs. I still, I still maintain the opinion that Hmm, excuse me. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I still maintain the opinion that uh, clean flight, the difference between clean flight and beta flight, you will not notice as a noob. Because as a noob, when you're first learning to fly, you can barely fly anyway. So you're not going to notice, um, you know, small differences in like the, the PID, the, the, the setups and, and things like that. Anyway, all that to say, don't worry about it too much, but... Um, you can use either one. You can use either one. They're both, they're both going to be fine for you. Um, you're, you're probably going to end up using beta flight later on down the road, so just go ahead and use beta flight. Um, the thing is, they're very, 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 very similar. So pretty much everything that I show you about the cl uh, using clean flight in the setup video, and I'm pointing at my computer, by the way, because the setup video is on there, so um, that's why I'm pointing there. It, it's going to be applicable to beta flight as well. Um, uh, it's not it's not identical, but it's pretty much the same. And let's see the next question. Speaking of things that are similar but not the same, uh, the flight controller, uh, the 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 the, uh, the setup guide is made with the Wizard X220, the OG version, the original version um, that I bought from uh, from from Stu from UAV Futures video. Uh, still love you, Stu, man. Uh, and and so that was the original one. They made a new one, or they updated it. I'm pretty sure it has the same flight controller. That was uh, that was one of your questions, Casper. What's up? Like, is it the same flight controller or something? And the answer is I'm not sure, but I think it is the same flight controller. The SP, the Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight controller. I think it's the same one. But if it's not the same one, uh. Well, that it depends. It depends on like how similar it is, but it could be pretty much the same kind of setup, or not. Uh, it it depends. But what I would do is uh, I would find out what kind of flight controllers in there, and then I would look up uh, I would look up the manual for that, or look up videos about that flight controller because because um, it's it, it might be kind of hard to understand or like when when you're first getting into it you think of a quadcopter as like one whole thing and it's like oh this quadcopter is different from this quadcopter but they may have the same flight controller so somebody may be setting up an entirely different quadcopter but it has the same flight controller the brain of the quad and then you'll be able to use that information uh, so that's yeah flight controllers uh, oh okay this one's gonna be fun um, oh actually before I get to this one uh, the he says he he has an F FS FSI six the FlySky i six transmitter. 
Uh, it looks just like this, or almost just like this. This is the I i6X that I have. Um, I can't remember the differences exactly. I think the I think the the i6 has eight channels, I think, and the i6X has ten. And there might be a few little uh, differences in the in the layout um, or the the the. This, I don't know the screen functions, just like the the you know, the layout, right? Yeah, you know, kind of like how you how you use it and stuff. But they're pretty much the same. Um, but again, look up videos. There are a lot of videos for the i6 uh, controller. So I hope that's that's helpful. I hope it's not just like well, go look up some video. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so channel switches, switches and aux channels. So. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, so, uh, he says, another thing that confused me was watching another guy set up his drone. He set it up. Switch D is the arm switch, but he said switch D was channel 5. You say switch A is channel 5, and switch D is channel A, and it seems like the other guy was right, but I'm going, like, ah! I know. I know. It's, it's, it's confusing. <sighs> Let's all just take a deep breath, and uh, we're going to get through this, okay? So... It's confusing even for me, uh, like I'm some kind of quad genius. Uh, no, but I, I had to kind of refresh my memory uh, to answer that question. So, I drew a picture. Oh, uh, first, this is the transmitter here. Okay, so we have our, what our, we call our gimbals, right? These guys, the, the, we have the, the pitch, we have the roll, the aileron, and, you know, yeah. Uh, and the throttle and the rudder for a four channel Airplane using all the channels and four channel, hmm, four channel. Well, uh, and then we have switches. And then I switch uh, this switch, this switch, this switch, and this switch. So we have four switches, and then we have these little knobs right here. These are uh, they're called, I believe, like they're like variable knobs. I think that's VR, VR, VRA, and VRB. That's what they have, VRA and VRB. So variable knob A and variable variable knob B. So. <clears throat> I drew a picture, and by the way, thanks for watching this still, if you're still watching this, because I know this is kind of a long video, but um, it's fun. Uh, so here's a picture, here's a picture. This is our, this is our, wow, I did not realize I was going to be doing this, like, backwards. Uh, so here we have our transmitter, okay? And I'll, I'll bring this closer in a second, don't worry. And so here we have our transmitter. We have our gimbals here, and I'll, I'll just do it right now. So there you go, you can look at that. Get a good look at that. You can go back to it if you need to. <clears throat> so here we have our gimbals, okay? So four channels, so we have four channels for our flight controls, okay? So we have channel one, which, and I drew arrows here, and, and, and I put two ones to indicate both directions, both directions, like kind of like forward and backward is for our, uh, for our pitch right here, or our elevator. I guess is it is what is what it would is what it would control. So we have that's channel one. Channel two is our aileron channel or rudder if it's like set up as a that's 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 like airplane setup. So don't worry about that. Okay. Anyway, because uh, we're talking about quads. Sorry. I'm okay. Uh, right. So we have our roll. Yes. This is our roll. This is our or aileron on an airplane roll. Okay. And then, and that's channel two. Channel three is our throttle. Vroom, vroom, throttle. Uh, that's channel three. Channel four is our rudder, which controls our yaw, okay? You probably knew that already. But, uh, but the point here is that we have four channels that are being taken up. So boom, four channels. That's what we, that's what these four channels are doing. They're controlling the quad. Ah, so what if we had extra channels? Well, we have uh, here, I just drew the switches as boxes here. Uh, so we have A, B, C, and D as referenced on the transmitter. The transmitter just stuck on the transmitter to differentiate. It says A, B, C, and D. And in the transmitter menu is also, it will refer to these as A, B, C, and D left to right. So uh, what, how, the way I have it set up, which makes sense to me, is you you can, and th this, is, this is what you set in your transmitter uh, menu you will set which switch, A, B, C, or D, controls which 
channel. Okay, now we've used up four channels already, so we have to start at channel five. So A, and again, the way I have it set up, A is channel five, B is channel six, C is channel eight, uh, I'm sorry, C is channel seven, D is channel eight, and then variable one is nine, and variable two is ten. So there's your full ten channels for the, uh, for, for that, the ch that this transmitter is capable of. Now, if I wanted to make this channel 6 and this channel 7 and switch, you know, switch C, channel 10, and I, if I wanted to make, I could do that. I could mix them all up. That's, that's, you can do that in the menu. Um, but it just makes sense to me to have it like this. Now, where aux switches come in, because if you go, if you go into uh, clean flight, um, or I'm sorry, beta flight. If you go into your configurator, whichever configurator you choose, and if you go into like the receiver tab or the modes tab, you'll see that it says um, that it says aux one, aux two, aux three, aux four, aux five, etc., etc. So that can get confusing. But what they're saying is aux the aux channel starts at channel five. So aux one, as I have in this little diagram right here, or this little thing, aux one is channel five, aux two is channel six. Aux three is channel seven, etc., etc. I think I'm pretty sure. I haven't asked any quad gurus about that, but that seems to be what's going on. So basically, so the 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 point of what I'm saying here is that the aux channel, um, when they say aux one, they're talking about channel five. When they say or in beta flight, beta flight says when beta flight says aux two, they're talking about channel six because the aux channels start after channel four because the four, the first four channels are being used up in our flight controls. <sighs> I know, right? Okay, I hope that thoroughly uh, confused you and maybe, maybe helped you a little bit. Um, what else, was there something else? Was that it? Was that it? Yeah, okay, I think that was it. All right, uh, this was fun making this video. Sorry it was so long. I don't do this very often. I'm going to get better, I promise. But it was fun, though, um, making these videos and responses to questions because I feel like it's I can do a better job than just typing it out. Plus, I don't like typing a bunch of stuff. And hopefully this will help a bunch of other people as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Comment more questions, I guess, in the respective videos uh, if you have more questions. And... I will do my best to help them, okay, or help you, help you answer them. So, all right, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.